Hey everyone, Mac is back and today we're going to talk about why you should use awakened commanders for basically everything that you do in this game. Uh, there are reasons behind that. I'm going to go into specific details and examples of why that is, uh, show you some kind of this, uh, the synergies that are behind it, and uh, just kind of show you that it, you know we're not getting these elite and epic tokens just for the heck of it. And, they're they're expensive to they they're expensive to get to either purchase or to get in game and there's a reason for that. They work very very well for you know your wall, your army, um, whatever you may be using them for. So let's get to it. First and foremost, the reason you want to have awakened commanders is because they bring more troops to the battle, so that you have a larger army size, and that can be shown by as you can see here, I have Loreo army size is 11,000 so he brings 11,000 more troops to your battle now if I did um, if I brought in say Haley who has the quality of 9 then it brings 15,000 so that's just slightly more of 4,000 more troops but still at uh, bringing her to that level 9 not worrying about the stars just about the level then we're, we're seeing that it's 15,000 now once you max out to uh, level 10 you get 21,000 so going from simply your level 8 down here of the Rayo where you give 11,000 to level 10 you get 21,000 10 extra thousand troops which is very very significant now it in a commander that's not awakened is going to be at level 8 max a commander that is at level 9 is going to be just awakened so uh, you can see here like Arsalan just awakened he can get you 15,000 extra 4,000 troops and then anything that's two stars or more as you can see Jamie is here or even if I scroll up you can see these four stars ones they're all they're all level 10s even here you can see the three star ones and then your two star ones are all going to give you that extra uh, up to up to 21,000 extra troops another aspect that I want to talk about is the cooldown decrease that you get from the awakening so for instance here you can see that with uh, zero stars or one star that the effect is uh, nothing is there is no effect at all you can see it has nothing whatsoever there's no cooldown effect at all but as you get to two stars and three stars the cooldown effect is two seconds which at that point gives you one extra attack and then at uh, four stars it gives you another attack on top of that. So from zero stars to four stars, you get you double the amount of attacks that you uh, that you get for that commander. So that is act that is just a massive amount of damage that you can be doing if having a four star commander. And then on top of that, we want to talk about the damage increase. And as you can see here, if it's at uh, one star and two star, you're getting 20% extra commander damage, active active uh, commander damage. And then once you get the three stars, that's where the 60% uh, extra damage comes in as well. So that can be shown if you're looking at the specialization, the 260% right here. So the extra 60% because they're really their base damage is that two. Well, I say base damage, but when you get them to gold, they're going to give you that 200%, and then you're going to have that uh, extra 60% added on there as well. You can see the cooldown here. It's usually it's usually 15 seconds, but now since I have it four stars, it's it's 10 seconds. So it shows you exactly what that is and how that how that kind of works, and that that's that's an absolutely ridiculous amount of uh, a damage that you can be doing just by having them an extra star or two, depending on you know where you are, what what you have. So that's that's exactly what you want to be doing, and and obviously if you're increasing, uh, you know the 1.6 times passive skills that that on top on top of that, um, when you get to the three stars, like even if you have say you know someone who is doing a lot of something who has a lot of damage like I think it was that's not awakened because you're looking for uh, commanders that are not awakened and he was not one was it here yes so like for Patello you can see he has 40 percent attack and 40 percent um, for both attack for both spear attack and inf attack and you think that's pretty good I and mean, he's not awakened though um, so you're like alright well that's pretty good you know 40 percent 40 percent but if you just get three stars for say Ray. I mean, you're already talking 64% for these, but then you look at the awakening that she has as well, and her passive skills of an extra 26% on top of that. Then you're talking 90% on 
uh, of each one. That's 180% compared to 120%. That's not, it's not even close at that point. And this is, you know, going up to three stars, of course. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, that the, the amount of damage or that they'll do extra just by the just by those extra three stars obviously it's it takes time to be able to do that but still like that just shows you how um, you know how, why it's so important to get your commanders two three stars and here is an example of the cooldown effect in action so looking here Enzo is one star in my lineup and, and um, I'm sorry is zero stars and Hector is one star and their first uh, active army still get, gets off at 16 seconds. So this is their first attack. It's at 16 seconds when you're zero or one star. And if you're two or three stars, you're going to get it off uh, a couple seconds earlier at 14. And as you can see here, that's where Lats and Haley get their active armies off because they're two and three. Haley is two and Lats is three. And then you can see the synergy that happens with, with the, for example, Layla, who's four star and her ability. Then she gets Haley to have an extra attack. This is a rebel camp, so it's not as realistic as you're attacking in a PvP, unless it maybe was like a big rally. But you know, 40 still 43,000 extra troops to be, you know, to be killed is quite significant. And then if you have your four stars, of course, going back here to 11 seconds, which is, uh, you know, three seconds less than the 14. So then you're looking at that's when Layla gets her um, active army skill off at four star. So that that gives you a pretty good idea of how many times going to be getting it off because this this uh, this battle didn't go very long. It only went to uh, I think 23 seconds. Yeah, 23 seconds. So I can't show you everything in there. I don't I don't run those types of uh, attacks with uh, you know uh, commanders that aren't you know at least three stars for the most part. So um, this because because the the battle ended here at this point. But that just kind of gives you an idea that at, at 16 seconds and 32 and 31 seconds, if you're zero and one star, then that's when you're going to get their, their two attacks off. And then if you're two or three stars, you're going to get an extra attack off and it's going to be at uh, 14, 27 and 39 seconds. At the very end of that battle is when that last one's going to pop off. And then if you have them four stars, they're going to start even earlier at 11 seconds and then get their next one off, which actually is at 21. So I can show you that. Since this battle didn't die there, uh, finish then, there's the Layla's uh, tw at 21. So she gets hers off as well um, at 11, 21, 30, and 40. Um, so at the very, very end, the very last second, if the battle lasts that long, then Layla will get uh, a four star commander, will get the, their arm, their actives off. And the very last thing I want to talk about is the synergy that happens with those commanders and why you want to have them get their actives off, uh, not just because of the damage that they do. But that the extra damage I can do on top of that because of the different synergies, uh, either their, for their four stars or, as I'm showing here, the dragon skills. You can see just for the dragon follow-up that I have, during battle, every time your commander uses an active army skill, there's a 15% chance that the, damage, that the dragon to do more damage. So if the more times you get your active army skills off on your commanders, there's a higher chance of your dragon actually doing more damage. And I've talked numerous times about how uh, Layla gets, you know, Layla has this uh, her four star is when a female commanders use their active army skills, there's a chance they're going to uh, be able to do uh, extra attacks. So uh, this is another one. And obviously they're female commanders, but still like that's another one to do more damage. Arya has something similar. She does her increased damage with her. So she does 20% that stacks up even more so now she has even more damage that she's doing so every time she puts one of those death markers down so that's another thing that's going you know it's going to happen there are um there are also castle skins and i'll show you that as well and here is a castle skin that i own and it gives as you can see over here uh active um sorry infantry commander active army skills so there you go that's 17.5 percent and this 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 is applied every time the command the, these infantry commanders do attacks. So if you have five in infantry commanders and you're you know you know that you're countering your opponent, then here you go. That's gonna that's gonna stack up every time, which is absolutely fantastic. You're gonna want you're gonna want to have this in there. If you have maybe just two or three of them in there, you still might be worth to have this castle skin on there. Plus you're adding obviously the other bonuses as well. And then the the you know there's the the super skins as well, which is where did that skin go to? Here it is over here. Which, you know, this is the skin that you, know, you have to get from the, uh, you know, the casino one that we're doing. But you can see all commanders here, all commanders get this, um, 
you know active army skill damage and that's 30 percent so i mean that's you know almost twice as much as what i have for the other one and that's just infantry so this is every single commander no matter which one you're doing so that's pretty that's quite ridiculous to be able to have that so this is a really really good skin uh to to, to have because of that extra damage it does and if you know if you have those five commanders and they're all doing you know four attacks a piece um you know then that's they're adding 30 percent on it every attack so i mean that's 20 attacks at 30 percent extra damage that's quite crazy and if it's a female lineup then you're looking at even more damage on top of that because then you're looking at Layla uh, you know possibly triggering everybody else so um, kind of gives you an idea of why you need to have all your commanders uh, awakened and it, at least two uh, three stars and if you can get them to four stars um, find a good lineup that you want stick to it get to it get to uh, focus on that don't worry about some of the other commanders and try to get these other ones four stars first I hope this gives you I hope this helped you out. Until next time, back out.